wholeness and balance vibrations. I trust your well vibe and, and resonance at top speed. I'm your brother Curtis Aru, and Donald Trump is in my backyard. Hey, there's something awfully schooly going on around here. I went to school up into college and studied music, uh, business, and some sort of education. A place where I grew up in a multitude of ways, learned different reflections of self, um, had actually got to know different sides of people who look like me. You know, from my small town to Columbia. We have people from, people of color from places all over the world, from Ethiopia to Detroit to right there in Columbia to King Street to Sudan. And uh, I was able to see different, feel like different striations of the same crystal, you know, and later expanding outward to seeing that you know, we are all a part of this human experience. And the more we learn from each other, the faster we grow. And the more we nullify confusion, separation, and division, the easier we work together. So I'm going to talk about economics today. Economics. And how conscious economics. And how divided we fall. Together, we grow. We expand. You gotta be doing something right when the prime distraction in the world, or the number one distraction in the world, take it back. So, at BC, at BC, you know, you know. We have play spades. One of the things I learned to excel in the words of our spades, where, or any card game, when you hit the boom, the trump card, when they, nobody knew you had it, but it took over the game. It brought that attention. Like everybody wanted to hold it to last. It didn't necessarily make this this card stronger than anything else. I mean, it was a card to be used whenever it needs to be. So the biggest the biggest distraction in the world came to my back. Donald Trump. Everybody's talking about. It. Globally, good, bad, and different, doesn't matter. It's being talked about, it's being played. And what magicians do, no, the, the distraction is here, but the real magic is happening back here. So, when there's such a big distraction, you always got a question, got a question, where, what's really going on? But even that is part of the distraction, because now we got you looking elsewhere from what's really right here within. And within what people need really needs to be talking about, really needs to be, what we really need to be doing is dialing more into our connection with each other, our community. No matter who comes to uh, your city, your town, your college, what are you doing in that community or even Thinking about how did this benefit the economy? How did this benefit the community? How did this benefit the college? How did, you, how did this benefit the students? How did this benefit the community? Did it bring business about this, him having them having this um, event? The system that burst the American dream has been replicated and replicated and duplicated time and time again. And it's those who are profiting from oppression. You know, profiting, profiting because of someone who lost their job. Profiting because someone who got in an accident. Profiting because someone didn't get educated properly. People who profit or businesses or systems who profit from that are replications of the Western way of thinking. Assisting, trying to be, how they trying to be? Praying on the weak. Actually, I'm going to turn off the camera so I can continue to speak from the heart because this is something that definitely needs to be um, expressed from someone in resonance with this note of energy. 
those who are profiting from the oppression of humanity, corporations or individuals who anchor themselves in the distortion, in the distraction, in the disease of the programming of the matrix, of the, the cities, of the people, people who take advantage, even though there is an abundance of wealth all throughout our planet. Abundance is our natural state. Earth, wind, fire, ether, air. All these things are free for you to use mindfully and you for you to sustain yourself on. But people, energy vampires, would prefer that your energy be theirs and not to be used to create abundance, love, sustainability, harmony, but it's to just take your energy and misuse it. Be it be taking your money, your family, your attention. You pay attention and this attention costs you. Or to take your votes. Not your V-O-T-E, your V-O-L-T energy. Think about the folks of energy that's, that makes a light brighter. You are a supreme being. You gotta know that. You gotta know your worth. The elders say know your worth. Know how much you're, you're popping out. Know your skill set. Know your uniqueness. Know your beauty. And this is the energy that is taken from you. Two heads to the same snake. Or like my bro say, bro life says, uh, two wings to the same dragon. Your health is your true wealth. And if you're not talking about your health or thinking about your health or taking that as a priority, number one, you're being misused. Your energy is being taken by something or it's being given by you to something but not yourself. And this is what one has to understand if one looks to grow, looks to be abundant, looks to be sovereign, looks to be great, looks to be happy. This is the key to happiness. Give in to yourself. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. I tell it's vital. Try and take care of yourself. Health is wealth. I tell it's vital, you can't rely on nobody else. Health is wealth. That's my brother, um, Maccabee. Knowledge is the current. How much you know and then how much you apply is, is the current. This is what our ancestors did. They were inspired to know. Knowledge is current and the key to new realms and perspective of thoughts. Our ancestors spent their time figuring out the impossible. Be inspired by newness, new experiences. Get out of these cycles. Psycho, <laughs> crazy person. <laughs> Talking about the same thing over and over again. You must abolish those cycles like you must get out of those circles because it drives you cycle it drives you crazy you lose your mind another brother would say uh you want to lose your mind and find your heart so finding your heart is is imperative to know where you're coming from your heart is where your passion comes from your engagement encouragement your energy flow make yourself a priority and then you can find elsewhere. So one another best investment that you can make that the ancestors will tell you and your elders will probably tell you is to acquire land. Get land. How are you growing? How, what land are you on? Do you own the land that you're on now? How can you own land? The land continues to increase in value. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But you hold on to it. It increases. Value. You can pass that down to your children. Generations. This is wealth we're talking about. Growing your own food. 
you having your own body care products that you make. What do you have that you need nothing else to sustain yourself outside of your family, outside of your circle, outside of your tribe? How do you take care of you? So again, the value system of, of us must change. Like, what do you value most? And that should be health, number one. That is the wealth. Truth, family, elders, your children. Some people will double bind themselves, like with a catch 22. And slavery is bad, but you worship a deity. You worship that's given of yourself, surrendering your soul, surrendering parts of you. That's a form of slavery. Just because it doesn't have change physically. Doesn't mean that it doesn't bind you or double bind you in a system that charges you for everything. Think about these words. In a system that charges you for everything, do you feel charged up? Do you feel pumped? Are you are you energized? That's how you know it's backwards. They charge you for everything, but you don't feel empowered. Energy vampires. Energy sucking you dry. And then you gotta work. Three, four, five, you know, jobs or additional hours just to make what you need to do to, to sustain your family. Something has to change. You have to change it. Wait on nobody else. Wait on no one. You have to be the one. You are the one. Make everyone responsible for the energy that they bring to you everyone and when you give yourself of these people who everybody's gonna everybody's gonna need something sometime it's not your job to give everyone everything that you have because then there's nothing left for you make people responsible for what they bring to you don't just take it just because your heart is open What's the right thing to do? You have to understand what is not just about right or wrong. Example, so how someone can misuse your energy. Let's say there is, you just hit the, the lottery. Boom, you got it. Well, no, something smaller. Let's say you just got a profit of $100, $200 you know, on something that you were doing. And somebody came through and like, yo, can you hook me up? I need help, you know, with whatever. Now, I need, I need. And let's say you gave them fifty dollars, and they take this fund, these funds that they got from you, that you work for, that you alchemistically made this paper. You put in this hours, and you got this uh, note, and then you gave it to somebody else. They took it, your energy, and they went to strip club. Oh, party, party, turn it up. No. They take it to get some alcohol. Boom. They throw back. And they, they just misuse your energy, your love, what you've made, what you've put time into. And misuse it. But what you can do to be an adept be an adult with your energy and what you give out. Another way would be to take that same person. Take some time with them. You know, take them out to lunch. You got you got 10 minutes, 30 minutes? Now sit down and take you something to eat. You talk about what's going on. How can, you know, what, what's going on with them? You know, give them some advice. Advice. So how can you get out get out of this, this cycle that you're in? You know, give them a tip. You know, try this. Have you ever heard of this? You know, um, what are your passions? You know, when's the last time you did it? You know, a number of different things. You can engage that person. Give them maybe something for another meal later. And then you've given your time. And you give a bit of resources. And that person will remember that longer after they remember a bottle or whatever they were going to get with the particular funds that you weren't sure. But again, this is your energy that 
could have been misused that you have no idea about. Same way with those who dispel, like let's say you got a haircut <laughs> and you left your, your locks or you left, you know, somewhere that you really don't know. And then anything can happen to it. Throwing in a sewer. It can be chopped up, lit on fire, whatever. That still has an effect on you. Whether you know it or not, you have it in your possession or not, it has an effect on you. Energetically, you're magnetic, you're, energy, you're electric. Like these resonance continue to go forth without your awareness. But as you dial in more to yourself, you understand that everything is connected. Your current is connected to your body's health, your body's wealth. And if you patch these leaks up within the body, you are, you become stronger. You can hold more current, hold more energy, hold more flow. And some of these concepts and, and principles are definitely vibrant within places that are accessible to you. And these conversations need to be had with tribe. Trump came to my backyard. I left the house. <laughs> I don't got time for distractions. You shouldn't either. Don't be pulled in to the vortex. Because now, this is what happened. Democrat versus Republican. Black versus white. Pro versus con. Freshman versus sophomore. Alumni versus current student. Alumni versus president. President versus parents of the students. More division, more separation, more arguing, more distraction from what's really going on. And all you need to focus on is one thing. You. You. How are you taking care of yourself? Your family? Second. Your home? Your business? Your elders? Like these are things that are of their highest importance. The highest importance. The only person that's going to make it happen is you. Don't be swayed by a trump card. It's one card. It's one card. There's many more after it. Even if it was the last card played, which is fine. We still got another game. If you want other cards, <laughs> I want to invite you to my tribe. A team, not a team, a group of amazing people who are growing more and more every day. Mind, body, and spirit. This is it. Again, your focus needs to be on your mind, body, and spirit. What's going on up here? Are you having alkaline thoughts? Are you having aesthetic thoughts? Those thoughts are negative or those thoughts are positive? How are you keeping the balance? What's your regulatory or arbitrary function within you that you set up as an accounting for your energy management? Your body, how are you working out? How are you, how are you eating? Spiritually, how are you engaging the thing that animates this body? How are you doing? Are you meditating? Yoga practice? Qigong? Capoeira? Like, what, what are you doing to engage your mind, body, and spirit? The trinity, true trinity that lives within you. Are you engaging yourself? Who are you talking to? If you need more people to connect with on this frequency, who 
We're talking about truth. We're talking about righteousness. We're talking about equity. We're talking about you being the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Follow some of the links down below. Sign up with us, Secret Energy. Log in, request your brother as a friend. We have a number of courses that breaks down you know, step by step the you know, ways you can deprogram what's going on, how you can take care of your body even more. Best practices, breathing, stretching, communication, conscious entrepreneurship, and much, 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 much more. But remember, those people, those who don't know, don't always are not just unaware by choice. Sometimes, oftentimes, you can't see because your eyes or your body's not healthy enough to dial it in. Or you, you know, for example, cameras. You can get a cheap camera, who, when you zoom in, it's still a little blurry, or you can get a more you know, developed you know, camera that's great at, you know, you zoom in, you, see, you still see those pixels calibrated correctly and it looks good. So, not that the camera can't see, it can see it. But it really can't have a refined vision because of its level of capability of its uh, internal software or program. So, learn how to deprogram. Get out some of the junk, people, and environment that does not serve you and you move forward. This is coming from a BC alumni, one of many things. Again, your brother Curtis Saru. Check out the links down below other videos we have a lot much more to grow a lot of places to go and you can't get there being having being distracted it's a number of detours you can take many distractions <laughs> you always it just take you a little longer to find yourself shortcut right here right now it's available wake up don't let your energy be stripped from you holding the symbolic vibrations until next time